Let's head down south to Aurelia Ortega, who's covering Miami Dade. Aurelia? Tiani, people all over South Florida had to deal with long lines all day long as they shopped for supplies. And here at this Home Depot in North Miami Beach, people told me that they had to wait in line up to an hour just to get plywood. Long lines at the North Miami Beach Home Depot as customers wait to get plywood to board up their windows ahead of whatever wind and rain Hurricane Matthew may bring to our area. I just got to take care of these windows. That's my problem right now. It's a little crazy. It's kind of hard to find uh, like a cart and then try to find uh, the right wood that you want to use to, you know, to put up and then you got to make the line to cut it. Customers tell us they've encountered lines similar to these at other stores and in some cases they had no luck getting what they were looking for. I went to Sam's and I got there about 615. Everything was gone. Some gas stations are already out of gas. Water and food scarce in some supermarkets. Food, water, gas, canned goods, flashlights and medication should be stocked. At the Miami-Dade Emergency Operations Center, elected officials and county leaders held a news conference to talk about how the county is preparing and urge residents to do the same. We should have all of our activities uh, done uh, by the morning uh, tomorrow. If, uh, if you have shutters, we recommend that you put them up. It's always better to be safe uh, than sorry. Tomorrow's a good day to stay home and, uh, and, uh, and be with your families. And despite the high number of customers here, the manager tells me that they only ran out of generators, but they do expect a shipment come tomorrow morning. The store is now closed, but they do reopen at 6 a.m. However, they do not know how long they will remain open because of the storm. Live in North Miami Beach, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight. Thank